another episode of Jaleesa's Fashion Files. In this video, I'll be showing you all how to style your little black dress or LBTs in four different ways. In the world of fashion, we're told that little black dresses are a must-have, they're essential and they're versatile, but we really don't see a lot of examples on how they're versatile. So in this video, I attempt to show you four very different looks just giving you guys some ideas for different scenarios and for different styles and hopefully inspire you in wearing your little black dress in different ways. I also wanted to mention that it's extremely important that when you're shopping around for your little black dress, if you don't have one already, that you want to really take into consideration your body shape. You want to make sure that you're getting a dress that really looks good on you because if it looks good on you, you're going to feel good wearing it and chances of you recreating different looks, some of the looks that I'll be showing you in the video are more likely because you're going to feel good and comfortable wearing the dress. So I will be pinning different ideas of dresses I would suggest for the different body shapes on the Pinterest boards so if you are not following me on Pinterest my links will be down below that'll take you over to the body shape boards and you can get some ideas or some examples of what I would suggest so let's get started with the first look which is the most common look that we're used to seeing with a little black dress and that's for a more dressier and special occasion so this first look, as I just mentioned, is for a more dressier event or occasion. I decided to keep the main color scheme black to avoid being too loud, but I do have a pop of color on my lips, which you could enhance a bit more if you wanted to by adding some red pumps. I also have some gold accents going on, which helps the look appear even more classy. For more dressier events, I always feel comfortable wearing a shawl that matches my dress because I just feel it's more elegant, it covers the shoulders, and if your dress is a little shorter, when you sit down, you can cover your legs. I mentioned how it's essential to find a dress that flatters your shape. And this skater or A-line dress, I feel, is the most universally flattering. Since it's an A-line shape, it won't cling to the hips or add any unwanted volume. So I would say that the main detail you would need to focus on a dress like this would be the neckline to make sure that it's complementary or flattering to your bust or your upper body. Now, I would also want to suggest to you guys that when you're shopping around for an LBT, that you go for a dress that doesn't have any sewn-in embellishments or embellishments that can't be removed. Because when you work with something that has embellishments that are not removable, it kind of restricts the versatility of the dress. So as you guys saw, it's very plain and basic. So as you see here, I'm able to just experiment with it more, giving it a more edgier vibe and allowing my accessories to really exude that edginess that I wanted to accomplish in the look. So you may be wondering or asking where would I wear this pairing to and I would definitely wear it for a girls night out on the town. I think it would be perfect or if you wanted to go for an overall like rocker chic type of look I think this pairing would be perfect. So here's a close-up of my accessories. So as you can see, I'm working with a leather jacket and I have a studded wide waist belt that of course exudes that edginess and a spiked necklace and a clutch that has some spikes on it as well. So as you can see, it's a nice mixture between the girly and the feminine aspect of the dress that's very laced and detailing. And then I have the very bold and edgy accents with the accessories. This third look would be perfect for all you boho lovers or those that have a more laid back style. I think it would look perfect with a denim jacket because denim jackets go with practically everything. I actually have a video, which was last week's video, on how to style a denim jacket with dress your pieces. I'll have that link down below. But as you can see, I just decided to work with a neutral or earth toned accessories to really exude that boho vibe. So of course I have to give you a close up of the outfit. So the jacket has a very vintage like vibe and coloring and the waist belt has a really cute bow which ties in well with the lace on the dress. And of course it's not boho if you don't stack on the accessories to really complete the look. And lastly, I think that this outfit pairing would work well for a number of different scenarios, like if you work in a business casual work environment, if you're interning, if you're a grad student and you're speaking at a conference or attending something with your school, this would be perfect because you're working with a cardigan, which gives a nice conservative feel to the look, and you have some subtle accents um, with accessorizing, and that just kind of gives off a bit of a preppy vibe. 
So to give you a close-up of the look, as you can see, the cardigan has rhinestones for the buttons. And I personally love cardigans that have some type of rhinestones or embellishments or detailing because I just feel like it helps enhance the overall outfit. And it also helps prevent from over-accessorizing, especially if you're an intern or you're working in the office. You just don't want to over-accessorize um, unless you work in a more creative environment. And that's a different story. But for this case, we're just keeping the accessories minimal. And and the accessories that I did choose to work with tied in with the color scheme of the overall outfit. Now, of course, I had to show you a close-up of these shoes because I absolutely love them. They give off a very retro vibe because of the polka dots and the red and white combination. And I just feel like it adds a little bit of personality to the overall look. So what did you guys think about the video? Did you like it? Did it give you some ideas on wearing your little black dress? I hope the answer to those questions are yes. And give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and definitely share it with someone that you think would find it helpful. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so for support and of course to see more videos. And if of course you have suggestions of videos that you would like to see in the future, definitely leave comments down below letting me know or tweet me or Facebook message me. I love to talk to you guys and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. So until next time, don't forget to stay beautiful, confident, and true to your beautiful self.